Hi guys, it's Red. I wanted to put together a few little cloak videos for people who have been asking more about my techniques of using cloak. I have touched on cloak quite a bit with my basic guide to flying hunters with my nightshade on my alt quite a while ago, but I'll focus a little bit more on this video on some higher end dragons. So we're going to look at sapphire and above, and I've selected a small handful of dragons that do have cloak, and we're going to talk about their uses when flying. The most important thing to do when talking about cloak is to remember that cloak is not the only spell the dragon has. So really utilizing the spells as well as you can together makes a big difference. So knowing what the dragon has, there's nothing better than that. So again, this is my 246 account. This is my main account. So some of the dragons I put together to speak about quickly here, we have my expert Aster. If you're not familiar with Aster, this is from the spring line. We have Resurrection Cloak, Steel Essence, and Ice Resist. So as always, when you're flying a dragon with Steel Essence, you must, must, must plan your run. Know it's coming. The more you plan your run and the more you fly these dragons, it'll start to become second nature. So when I'm flying with my dragons with Steel Essence, I don't really say in my head, oh, 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 I'm really going to grab that trap for, for freeze or oh, I'm going to grab that storm. It's a little bit more instinctual now for me since I have been flying dragons that have had steel since for well over a year. Um, it might even be longer than that. I don't remember when I first got to gold tier. So Aster again, we have lovely spells here, so we have to make sure we understand Steel Essence. Steel Essence and Cloak go very well together. Ice Resist and Cloak also go extremely well together. So Cloak is what we're going to use to avoid getting hit by projectiles, uh, which really means we're vulnerable to fire super shots, ice turrets, and lightning towers in particular. Storm towers as well, but since their damage is lower than the other towers, I just listed. It's not as much of a worry. So having ice resist with a dragon with cloak is wonderful. We absolutely love that. Another dragon here, we have Desi, a lovely dragon. I think he's so pretty. <laughs> Desi has, again, steel essence and cloak, which is wonderful, but his cloak isn't going to go very well with his ballista resist. Ballista resist is awful. I think we can all agree on that, but he does have earthquake. So earthquake, if you're not familiar with the spell, is a single cost red spell that is like a very tiny version of freeze. It's slow to get to a place, but it will freeze towers for a short length of time. So that is Earthquake. Um, so, sorry, when using Earthquake with Cloak, sometimes I will cast Earthquake then Cloak and wait for Earthquake to hit, depending on what type of towers I'm seeing there. So if I'm seeing a bunch of Ice Towers and I'm getting hit, you better believe I'm going to Cloak. Frostbiter, woohoo! So Frost is one of my favorite dragons still. He does not have Steel Essence, which means he, flying him is a little bit more straightforward. We have Crystalline Shield to get rid of projectiles as well, Cloak to avoid getting hit by projectiles, but then Crumble to Dust to make damaging towers a lot easier. So typically you're going to pick one, Crystalline Shield or Cloak, and they work in a similar fashion, to be completely honest. So if I know that I'm not going to be able to Cloak past most of the island, especially in Long Islands, you'll see me use Crystalline Shield instead, and then when Crystalline Shield pops, I'll typically use Cloak if I have to. But we do have Ice Resist, which is again a wonderful spell to go with Cloak. Brief shout out to Hauset. I know a lot of people have been asking about Hauset. There's so many wonderful flyers out there. I will never claim to be one of the best flyers, let alone one of the best Hauset flyers, but quick shout out, he does have a Cloak-like spell with Time Shift, so we'll go down this beastly path another day, but he does have a similar Cloak, because Time Shift does act that way. In the Sapphire tier, I did pull out Gorgonus for us. So Gorgonus is a Sapphire Dragon that has Crumble to Dust, similar to Frostbiter, Cloak, does have Steel Essence, and then the shitty Ballista Resist. So while I do like most of the spells this dragon has, I would definitely say Sekhem is the better Sapphire Dragon, Sim even with the spell set difference, just because of this Ballista Resist. Pulled out my Nightshade. You guys all know how much I adore Nightshade. <laughs> if you don't already know about Nightshade spells, gotta go back and watch a Nightshade video. Invert, Cloak, Crumble Dust, and Lightning Resist. Wonderful. And then I pulled out, as a little bit of a special treat, Phasmos. So Phasmos was the mythic dragon in the winter season. It is a sorcerer that has Cloak, which makes him a ton of fun. Very interesting to fly. Very, very interesting. So we're going to pick and choose a couple of these dragons I think are different. We are going to start with Desi simply because I'm working on leveling him up. Um, 
Aster. One of the fun things if you're flying against real bases here is resurrection. So knowing how resurrection works is, is really key to flying Aster and not being afraid to use it. So since we are going to be flying on an XP base, I'm going to choose Desi instead. While this is loading, if you are curious why I only fly in XP bases on my videos, it is a personal choice of mine. Um, I believe that I don't want to farm people, basically. It's one of our team rules. If you're not already on Rula, I think you don't know that about us. We do not farm. And since I didn't get prior permission to fly against some real bases, I wanted to show you just on a base that I know <laughs> the person's not going to get mad at me or not feel offended, blah, blah, blah. And I won't feel bad for hitting them. So we're looking at Ala. So Ala here, we have no mage towers, farms are spread out. Lightning towers are grouped together. We do have ice turrets grouped together. So we're going to be flying Desi. Remember, our resist is not going to help us with Desi here. So we really have to focus on the combination of his other three spells. So you will notice I will pick up the trebs quite a bit. The trebs are my favorite. I will typically cloak on the small islands at the very least. I know I can tell you I'll cloak on the back of the first long island. Um, otherwise, you're going to be seeing a lot of combo use of all his spells together. So we're going to fly Desi here. Unfortunately, I'm not inviting you, my lovely teammates. <laughs> all right, so we're going to pick up the freeze first once my game fully loads. Okay, I know this spell flux is going to target that back treb, which will give me freeze again. I've flown this space enough times to know. All right, so if that freeze hadn't hit the back lightning towers, I would have chosen to cloak until it was just over lightning towers about here. And then I would uncloak and definitely hit those then. So I'm coming up on these storms, going to try to get off chain. And cloak right away to avoid taking any damage that from projectiles that were in the air. So again, we could do this with fireball as well. So I'm going to fire fireball here and then cloak immediately. Stay cloaked and building up firepower if need be. And then I'm going to use earthquake. Took a little bit of damage. Not too pleased with that. But spells are what's they are, you know. I wish I would have picked up a better shield from the last one. So there you saw me use uh, Earthquake and then I cloaked immediately so those towers in the air, those archers in the air weren't going to hit me. Archers are a fast firing tower, so I really wanted to avoid getting hit by those. Here cannons are a little bit slower, so I know they weren't going to hit me before the rest. So we have to wait for that cooldown from Earthquake, and there it is. Cloak is my last projectile is in the air. And I'm going to wait until I'm just over this lightning tower here and give it a final tap to kill it. There we go. So that's Desi with Cloak. So you could see a lot of the time using that combo of spells is really important. So archers using uh, Earthquake right away, but then cloaking so those archers aren't hitting me in the air. Let's look at a different dragon. We're going to take a look at Frostbiter. So this is a dragon that does not have Steel Essence and is in Garnet Tier. Loading screen. All right, so again, Ala, we're looking at Frostbiter, which we do have Ice Resist, which is super helpful for Dragon's Cloak, and then Crystalline Shield. So we'll take a look quite a bit those. Crumble to Dust, you'll see me use just to help me out, so I don't have to use as many taps. And we are going to fly unboosted. All right, so same type of thing again here. So I'm letting those fire turrets build up and then cloaking right before they're going to hit me there. For these, I'm going to wait, try to get these down. I have my crystalline shield to help reduce damage. Oh, shoot, I missed that treb. Ah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to let it go. I didn't realize the treb was dead, but I'm cloaking until... Right over the top, take those down. I'm a bit bummed I missed that trip now. Uh, take out these storms. All right, wait over here. I'm going to throw up crystalline shields so that way these projectiles aren't damaging me while I'm finishing up. All right, I know I have more projectiles coming up. I'll see if I can get them down enough time to cloak, which I did. 
So I'd use Crumble the Dust just so I'm taking a little bit less damage from these ice. Took down the fire first because that's doing the most damage. And I did cloak. I tapped once and cloaked immediately to try to take as little damage as I could from that ice turret. Tap while I'm over the top. Saving up firepower to come around the corner to try to take down the front three towers. Cloak. Wait until I'm over the top of the archers again. We're going to use two fingers. I'm using my finger and my thumb, in case you're wondering. Thumb on my left hand. <laughs> Pointer finger on my right is how we typically fly. We're going to use our crystalline shield here. Crumble to take a little bit less damage. Crumble again. Oh, I miss space crumble. Should have gotten all five. Naughty, naughty red. All right. Anyway, that's Frost Spider getting through. Hope you can see just a little bit how it cloaked us change. Ah, I missed that trap back there. I'm super bummed. But we did get through. Now let's look at some lower tier dragons before we finish up with Phasmos. So the lower tier dragons here that we have to explore, we do have Gorgonus and we do have Nightshade. Nightshade is by far the superior dragon. I have not met anyone who would say otherwise. Nightshade is fabulous. Just his spell set is perfect for a hunter. Uh, we have the bookmark issue again. All right. So... Let's take a look at Gorgonus and Nightshade. These are the two Sapphire legendaries that I have on the roster. Nightshade is going to rip through this with no problem, I'm pretty sure. I haven't flown him in a while on this account. Um, Gorgonus will have a little bit more trouble. He does have the absolutely terrible resist. He does have pretty good spells, but it's that terrible resist combined with his, his status and his Sapphire Legendary status that's going to make him more difficult to fly. So it's going to take more taps to take things down. We don't have a shield. It's going to be rough, so we're going to have to really rely on our Steel Essence and Crumble and get as far as we can. I would take a wager that Gorgana's expert. I will definitely do well on this base, but um, i I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get 100%. Definitely over 70. That's that's not a question in my mind. We'll see how these super shots line up and how good I am. I haven't flown Gorgonas in a really long time. Let's take out that trap. We're going to freeze. Oh, so many taps. Okay, I know that I'm going to use that there. Going to get this trap. Good, we got some freeze going on. I'm going to watch for them to unfreeze here. Cloak, until I get over the top, just because I'm super nervous <laughs> about those lightning towers, because they will hurt. All right, we're going to prepare chain lightning here. We're going to try to take out the front three, if we can, I really hope. Can take those out quickly so we can cloak. Doing all right so far. We picked up freeze. Super lucky we picked up freeze there instead of fireball. Prepare our ice for sh freeze here. All right. So what I've done is I've chosen to get wind wall, preparing for these cannons to unfreeze. And then we're going to cloak. It's going to be a rough one. I think I'm going to have to use crumble in order to get these towers down too. Simply because I'm not confident in my tap counting for this dragon. All right, awesome, we have Havoc. Havoc's such a fun spell. Wish I would have had one more Rage so I could Cloak as well. <laughs> All right, coming up on the last item, we definitely made it past 70s. So that's a good sign. That's definitely a good sign. Oh, we're not going to make it much further. Sorry, I wish I would have gotten a little farther. So 86% with Gorgonus. I'm sure with a lot more practice, I could have gotten farther. I hope that you can get farther too, so please practice. If you have Gorgonus, give it a go. Uh, Gorgonus is, again, one of my least favorite Sapphire Dragons, which is surprising because it is a Hunter with Cloak. It's just the combination of spells is my fave. So I'm not going to fly Nightshade on this base. You guys have seen me fly Nightshade so many times. I love Nightshade so much, but if you take a quick look... Knowing Nightshade has lightning resist um, and invert, 
and cloak, which means we are just avoiding damage everywhere. So as long as we get crumble on the back half of the long island there and get rid of those ices, we are just in the clear. This is such an easy base. So take care of those, take care of the storms, and he is through. So let's take a look at Phasmos. Phasmos, I haven't flown in a little bit. He's been off my roster for a little bit now. But I love this dragon, and the combination of his spells is, is truly a lot of fun. So let's take a look. We're going to put Phasmos through here. You'll see that I use Ice Shock every single time. It becomes uh, off cooldown simply because it doesn't take any rage, and it's wonderful. I do try to aim it and try to get multiple towers at a time, so I definitely tap between towers and try to use that carefully. I use Spell Flex quite often. Um... Yeah, so let's give this a go. Let's see how see how Phasmos does. I am going to boost Phasmos just because I'm nervous. I haven't flown him in a long time, and I'm not super comfortable with my Phasmos skills anymore. I'm sorry. I should have practiced for a little bit first. All right, so I'm going to try to get those fire turrets down. I am swiping to make sure I get that farm and that other fire cloak. Ah, Spellflux took a different tower than I was expecting. Definitely glad I boosted now. All right, let's see how this goes here. Come on, baby. Oh man, Phasmos is not doing nearly as well as I was hoping. Oh, at least I hope it's a little bit of fun to see the dragon. He's a neat looking, neat looking dude. Did all right though. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed a little bit about my thoughts on flying with Cloak. Um, it's a lot of fun, definitely my favorite spell in the game it's so much fun oh this is gonna be rough these lightnings are gonna get me guys i know it yeah one shot there but not too bad for phasmos so i hope it was just fun to see him and if there's anything i can do to help out with cloak if you have any other questions please let me know again i'm sorry that i was flying an xp bases this was really kind of like the toddler's version of cloak simply because flying an xp base isn't actually flying so please 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 make sure that you are flying on real bases go raiding with your teams really push yourself in war and try to fly harder and harder bases. Flying hard bases with the dragons you have is the only way you get better. Flying XP bases is wonderful for getting max XP, but it really makes you a worse flyer. So see you guys again soon. I'm going to go log into my alt and let's we'll take a look at cloak with some lower tier dragons there. See you soon.